Hello friends, welcome back to Technique and today we'll be doing a camera review of a budget device from Infinix, the Infinix Hot 30 5G. Now Infinix Hot 30 5G is uh, a device priced uh, between the 10 to 15,000 price segment. The price is starting at around 11,499 including discounts. Now this is uh, one of the really good devices in terms of hardware. You get a full HD display, 120Hz refresh rate, Dimensity 6020 uh, chip and uh, you get uh, 4 GB RAM and 8 GB RAM all of these uh, including 6000 milliamp hour battery is uh, priced uh, in the 10 to 15000 price segment so it also comes with a dual camera setup and uh, let's see how good the camera experience is on this device so before getting into the video if this is your first time on this channel do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so looking at the hardware you get a primary 50 megapixel camera it's a Samsung sensor then you get f 1.8 aperture you you get a secondary depth sensor and on the front uh, you get an 8 megapixel uh, selfie camera it's a very basic camera 50 megapixel dual camera and an 8 megapixel selfie camera so let's go straight into the camera samples and see how good the experience is now let's have a look at the daylight capture so from the daylight captures one thing what you can notice is that uh, there is good amount of details uh, the dynamic range also feels quite okay and uh, the colors are really rich uh, and a bit saturated at times but uh, most people in this segment won't really mind uh, saturation saturated and vivid images so the detailing is good the colors are also uh, really rich and uh, uh vivid so most people will definitely love the de detailing and sharpness levels are also quite acceptable even if you zoom in there is decent amount of details on offer so i would say uh, the 50 megapixel camera does a quite good job for what it offers uh, in the uh, sub 15k price segment Now moving on to the close-up shots, uh, here also you can see that uh, the colors are rich uh, and uh, the detailing is also quite good. Uh, uh, the sharpness levels are also acceptable at this price segment but it does miss out on macro and ultrawide probably because it's more of a budget smartphone or priced around the 12,000 segment. Uh, once again you can see colors are a bit boosted but not many people would really uh, have an issue with those colors now moving on to the portraits you can see that uh, the skin tones are quite okay for the most part colors are once again uh, vivid and uh, rich but the uh, major issue is the edge detection which is kind of very much average i would say so portraits definitely need some improvement so next uh, let's uh, move on to uh, the low light experience so these images were taken in uh, uh, low light conditions and you can see for a uh, 11 to 12,000 price segment this is a decent performance uh, and uh, there is decent amount of detail as well but uh, when you zoom in you can definitely see the kind of watercolor kind of effect but again uh, this price segment you can't expect a stunning camera for what it what the price it is being offered this is definitely a decent experience i would say and there is good amount of detail although the sharpness levels are not that great uh, there is decent amount of detail which won't disappoint users so overall we feel that the 50 megapixel camera does quite a good job for what uh, price it is being offered and will not disappoint users now moving on to the selfies once again you can see that uh, the uh, colors are very rich and uh, skin tones are also a bit uh, reddish in nature but again uh, i don't think uh, many people would have an issue with that so overall we definitely like the selfies in this price segment there is also uh, portrait selfies which where again you can see the edge direction being not so great now let's move on to the video recording now this phone supports 2k uh, video recording now you can see that uh, the colors are very rich uh, and uh, sharpness levels are also good uh, there is good amount of detail as well dynamic range is also quite acceptable but then uh, there is no stabilization on offer that's one thing which is missing here now here you get uh, 1080p at 30 fps as well once again you can see that uh, there is no stabilization on offer but video quality definitely looks good for the price segment it is being offered and finally you also get 1080p at uh, 30 fps uh, this is uh, once again quite acceptable i would say considering uh, what uh, the competition offers this is definitely good uh, videography so this is the 2K uh, sample taken using the front camera on the Infinix Hot 30. It can record videos in 2K as well as 1080p resolution, both in 30fps. So you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the videos and also the audio output. 
So that was the camera review of the Infinix Hot 30 5G. So looking at uh, the captures, we could say that uh, uh, the Infinix Hot 30 5G, although the images are a bit too saturated, but most people won't have a complaint, at least in this price segment, that's the uh, 12 to 13K price segment. People will definitely love it, especially for social share, it does make sense. But uh, again, the natural colors are not available on this device. Uh, but uh, the detailing is good, even uh, the close-up shots, the, uh, the selfie camera and also low light did quite a decent job even the video recording was surprisingly good uh, for the price segment only area is the portraits where the edge detection was not so great so uh, that's the uh camera review of the Infinix Hot 30 5G. We would say it's uh, quite a decent camera out there for the 11,000 to 13,000 price segment it is being offered. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.